story of a young Republican. It all started out in 2003. A very trying time. Very, very sad, sad time. My mama wanted George W. Bush, and I wanted him too, because I just saw my mom more, and I just took her aside. My dad wanted John Kerry. <sighs> or so I thought. And I'd watch debates. It'd be like a dogfight between Germany and America, and they would both end with bang. The election. And... Who won? George Bush. But I wondered, you know, why did George Bush win? What made that man better than George Bush? What made George Bush better than John Kerry? It just didn't make sense. I didn't understand. I wanted to, but I wasn't old enough. So I waited until I was old enough to understand the most exciting, best subject there is. The most fun subject, the most entertaining subject, the subject I call... Politics! Part 2, A New Hope for America. So I did some digging around, did some research, looked around between, between the two major political parties, Republicans and Democrats, and I found some very unsettling things about both parties, but I found a ton more about Democrats. It always just seemed like, you know, Democrats were a little more irritating. I'm sure you're wondering why. Democrats, what I've seen and noticed on the news and online, is that they're more apt to start riots, you know. They don't get what they want, so they throw a fit. It's just how they work. I'm not saying all of them do this, but some do. You know, Republicans, you know, they don't get what they want, they swallow it, and they try again next election. I've noticed that Democrats lie a little bit more. I I don't know why, it's just... I don't know. Most Republicans don't lie, and... If you ever go to a convention, Republicans don't litter. It seems decent families, but... Some Democrats, I've noticed... <laughs> they uh, litter a lot. And they just don't pick up the trash. And some are just plain rude, like Mr. Red Rude Democrat here. Just plain rude. And don't get me started about the anti-capitalist group at Occupy Wall Street that defecated on the American flag. And most good actors are Republicans, like Adam Sandler, Clint Eastwood. He's very good, you know. Daddy Harry. All the good stuff. Chuck Norris. You know. He's, he's just good, you know. And Vince Vaughn. Not many people have heard of him, but he's pretty good. And, yeah. So, yeah. And definitely Mitt Romney, the best, most bestest politician besides George Bush ever. So we need a real hero for America. Vote Republican. Vote smart.